Hi, welcome back to Airfuller Niche Clarity Blueprint. This is module number six. How many of you heard about the Ikigai? Ikigai is a Japanese principle, which is Ikigai means a reason for living or a sense of purpose. You need to find out your purpose. And there, right from the beginning of the this course, I am telling that you need to find your purpose, purpose of the life. How you can find that purpose? The purpose to find the purpose, you need to know these. You need to write down these. What is exactly your passion? What is your mission? What is your vocation? What is your profession? Okay. So, what do you mean? Passion. Passion is a strong and uh, barely but strong but barely com- controllable emotion. Okay. That is your passion. You want to have it. You, you feel excited with by having that particular emotion. That is called as your passion. Okay. So, for me, Ayurveda is a, uh, teaching Ayurveda is my passion. That is my emotional. That is my emotion. Which is attached to the uh, with Ayurveda that I believe Ayurveda, I trust Ayurveda. That is my passion. The mission is a specific task with which a person or group is charged. For example, my mission is to help a hundred thousand Ayurveda professionals to achieve, live, achieve and live entrepreneur lifestyle, use uh, to accomplish social significance, professional significance, financial abundance, time freedom using my this Ayurveda business model. This is my mission. I have got the particular task to help the people of Ayurveda to find their career, find to find their entrepreneurship, to find their abundant lifestyle. Okay, and what is vocation? Vocation is a strong feeling of a suitability for a particular career or occupation. Teaching is my passion. Teaching is my oh, the, 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 what is I feel that I strongly I feel that I I I am a good teacher, and I am the teaching. So my passion to teach Ayurveda, and my vocation is the skill of the teaching of Ayurveda is there. So because of that, I am teaching Ayurveda, and profession is a paid occupation, especially one that involves prolonged training and a formal qualification. And I have got a formal qualification. I have got BMS, I have got MS, I am doing my PhD, I have got LLB in my for this one name, and. I have got training of the neurology programming. I have got training of the what to call the uh, numerology. I have got training of the what to call money management. I have got training of the uh, neurology programming. So these are all my formal qualification and a prolonged training. I went through the prolonged training. BMS five five and a half years, PG three years, and when being a teacher last twenty years, that is also training. So these, when you when you identify these elements, okay, then what occurs is when your passion and mission together, the club that will give you what that that what that which you love, you will find out what what you love. When you club, see my passion is Ayurveda, my mission is to help all the Ayurveda professionals to find the abundant lifestyle. That's why I love it. It's my love. I love to teach entrepreneurship to all my Ayurveda professionals using Ayurveda. Okay. When your mission and occasion they to meet together, they will give that what the which what the world needs. My mission is to help the Ayurveda people to find their entrepreneurial journey so that they can have their own ecosystem. For which they will be paid, or they will have, they will enjoy the what you call the abundant lifestyle. And uh, what is required? A perfect guidance is required for them. A proper by guidance, or a proper what you call the ro- road map is required for all the Ayurveda graduates. That is what Ayurveda graduates require. Because at every stage they, we are in the confusion, we are in the con- crossroad. What to do next? After BMS, what to do next? Question mark. Once you join PG, then what next? To academics or practice? Once you join academics, what next? Government job or government job? When you become, when you start a clinic, then what next? Which area to start with? What the what the treatment? What the disease I should deal with? Okay, so all these crossroads are there. So because of that, they need a proper guidance. And that what I am trying to give. 
I am trying to assess their what the quotient. I am trying to assess their numerology. I am trying to assess their economical conditions. I am trying to assess their social conditions. By that, I am doing goal setting formula. I am helping them to find their goal. That is what required for our IELTS graduates. They are intelligent. They are capable. What they lack is only the guidance. That we can call it career guidance. That is in need. That's why I thought that this will fit me because I love to help them, and they need a guidance from people, person like me, who has spent 30 years of his lifespan in Ayurveda, almost nearly 30 years. Okay, so because of that, that suits me. Whereas when your vocation, okay, a strong feeling, what you are having for your occupation, a career, okay, that. Combines with the profession. Okay, so occasion is a strong feeling. What is that? A strong feeling of mine is that I love Ayurveda and I love Ayurveda people and I love to help them. This is my occasion. My profession is already I am a qualified teacher, NCSM recognized teacher. I have guided more than fifteen hundred plus students. I taught them. I I I have guided the postgraduate students. So when these two things meet, for that I I should be paid. That's why you paid me. You have joined this community because I have got that authority to receive that money from you because I am giving you a a valuable what to call the guidance. Then. When your passion and your profession they meet together, the passion is Ayurveda, loving Ayurveda. Profession is teaching Ayurveda. Then I am good at it. I am good at it. That says that which you are good of. So in which you which you love, which world needs, which you are good at. And for which you are paid. If all these four converge to one point, that becomes your niche. This is called as ikigai. That becomes your purpose. So my purpose, my life purpose has become my ikigai is to help higher the professionals to elevate their self-respect, self-confidence, and achieve entrepreneurial lifestyle to enjoy. Professional significance, social significance, financial abundance, and time freedom. This is my ikigai. So, what is your ikigai? Now you should think. So, this is the popular what you call the uh, graph of ikigai. Okay, where we can see whatever I explained now. What? No, the sweet spot is the ikigai. Where it is written as ikigai, that is the sweet spot. So, here one one particular niche will come. What you love is from your passion and mission, because when it becomes your mission, you will start loving you, loving it. When it is passion, when it is your passion, you will be loving it with unconditionally. When it becomes the the same passion becomes mission, you will love it. I love helping. I have the graduates, I have the professionals, I have the teachers. That's why I am not tired. When But whether it is whether the world needs it, that should be the question. If the world doesn't need it, even though if it, you are loving your passion, your mission, it is not going to make your earning. So world should need it. What you love, okay? So that there your mission and your vocation will club together, and that will give you clarity. What the world needs, you should do the research. What the the knowledge you are having. that is what the your strength the passion and the profession your passion and the profession if they align together they will and you will they will help you to identify your strengths your ability your cap- your skill okay and if this skill is in align with your and you, you love that skill and the world requires it then you will be paid for it Okay, so my skill is my skill is teaching Ayurveda. 
what i love is teaching ayurveda and helping the ayurveda graduates and post graduates to achieve the abundance that is what i love i want to see all our ayurveda professionals will be with all that self respect self dignity confidence courage and abundant lifestyle that is what i love to see and whether world needs it of course everybody wants to be rich every ayurveda professional will be thriving to become significant because of that they need guidance in in that direction and whether i will be paid for that of course i will be paid for that because now the era has come where all of us will be regarding the value of the our coaches our mentors who are helping us to improve our life make our life better so for definitely every as every human being is thinking like this they want to exchange the value okay with the what the value they get so once they get that value of guidance that the exchange will be in the form of money for that i will be paid that's why that is my ikigai that is my mission to help i am a professional to achieve and live entrepreneurial entrepreneurial lifestyle to accomplish social significance professional significance financial abundance time freedom using ayurveda and using my ayurveda ayurpreneur business model ayurpreneur business mastery ayurpreneur business empire and being in the ayurpreneur lifestyle hub so you need to find out your particular ikigai once you find out your ikigai mention it in the comment section and by that you will find your own destiny your goal your purpose of the life and by that you can clear create your own road map and by that you can achieve that very soon when you know the destiny when you have got the vehicle of ayurveda you will reach there very soon okay so i wish you all the best for your ayurpreneur journey okay Uh, if you have find out if you are if you have find found out this ikigai you are ikigai okay so see you in the 